Hello, and welcome to the 6 p.m. conference call, 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, that makes it 9 p.m. Eastern. If anybody wants to give a shout out, we've got about 40 seconds. So go ahead and say your name and where you're calling from right now. Hey, this James is Lyon. Lyon. in Tampa, Florida. James Lyons. <laughs> a lot of people from Florida got that. Mr. Lyons, thank you very much. And anybody else? This is Jackie from Houston. Welcome, Kathy. Anybody else? Charles from Atlanta. All right, Atlanta on the map. Anybody else? Cedric from Houston. All right, Cedric from Houston. And what was the other one, ma'am? Carol yeah, Gary from Florida. Okay, Ms., uh, from Florida. Thank you much. Uh, and ma'am, what was that again? Carol? Trying. Carol from uh, Livonia, Michigan. All right, Carol, welcome to the call. All right, we are at 6 p.m. Pacific, and so we're going to get started here. We're going to do some housekeeping. Hold on. Okay, a very exciting time here at uh, Flexcom America headquarters. Uh, my name is Larry Skinner. I am the Chief Operations Officer for Flexcom America Incorporated here in Henderson, Nevada, uh, just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada. Have a, a very heavy storm day, and uh, we are. Uh, this is our monsoon season. We are going uh, headlong into uh, getting all kinds of things uh, completed and up into your uh, back offices. Uh, want to do a little bit of housekeeping and unfortunately have a meeting at exactly 6.30. So we've got about 30 minutes, and I'll try and get to uh, do a, a little Q&A at the end of this, but have a lot to cover. Uh, so we are open. Uh, our grand opening was uh, last week on Friday. A lot has uh, happened since then, uh, since August 1st. Uh, we have uh, the uh, eBiz kit description is up in your back office under um, marketing. I believe so. Let me make sure it's true. Yeah, under marketing. And it has a description of the eBiz kit currently, as Volker uh, talked about on his webinar today, which we did record. And I'll get into that in a little bit uh, about where you get the recording. Uh, but the, uh, the uh, webinar today uh, went over uh, some of the uh, basics of uh, what the opportunity is uh, now going forward. Now that we're in uh, phase 3.5, we're moved from uh, phase 1 to phase 2. Uh, just to go over this real briefly, phase 1, where it was where uh, partners brought in partners, three who bring in three, which looked a lot uh, like an MLM-ish sort of thing. And then phase 2, uh, which happened pretty quickly into phase 3, uh, where you're bringing in uh, merchants and customers. And then phase 3, where you're deploying uh, the opportunity for customers to get rebates and uh, for merchants to give out that uh, rebate, having that uh, uh, incredibly targeted marketing tool, uh, which is what we sell. Those terminals are an incredibly targeted marketing tool, the most targeted marketing in the history of marketing. And so uh, we've uh, moved into the phase where we are uh, we're, we have the uh, the service level, the product uh, that will take us into this phase 3.5. That is the eBiz kit. The price now is $399 plus tax. There's no commissionable volume on that because we're in phase 3.5. It's all about getting terminals into merchants. Uh, Volker is going to go over the uh, compensation plan tomorrow. And then um, we'll probably go over it again on Wednesday, and we'll have like a, uh, a kind of a, a webinar Wednesday where I'll follow up at the uh, 6 p.m. call after each of his webinars uh, with clarification and more expounding on the uh, comp plan. So tonight, don't have time for uh, comp plan questions. Uh, we'll answer those with Volker's, uh, Volker Vitek, our CEO, has a webinar tomorrow at uh, noon Eastern, which makes it 9 a.m. Pacific, and then at 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. Then I'll have this conference call, and we'll uh, try and get rid of the housekeeping uh, pretty quickly so that we could delve right into the uh, compensation plan. And then I believe Wednesday he's also scheduled to talk about the uh, comp plan again to go over that with new slides. And then I'll be going over those new slides, hopefully, uh, with you at uh, 6 p.m. on that day. Now, on Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, you get uh, a three-for-one. Uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you also have uh, Bill Resides blog talk. Bill Resides, for you folks that are new or, or newly engaged, is our country manager. And he has a blog talk, a blog radio talk um, Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, they do it anew, but you have archives that are available all the time. If you don't have the, um, the links for that, then send an email to American Support at flexcom.com. It's American Support at flexcom.com. So let's go back to that uh, PDF that's in your uh, back office. That is, uh, it says product description, 
And um, the product that it's describing is the eBiz kit, which is all that's available right now for somebody coming into this opportunity as a partner right now. It's a DMR. So I'm just going to read the description, and you'll have this, and this is something you can distribute uh, to your uh, prospects uh, by uh, going into your back office under marketing and then the uh, product descriptions. All right, so immediate access to the FlexCom's online back office, which includes a replicated site. Replicated site is where you go to flexcom.com forward slash your ID number, and then um, they have a, a cookie in their uh, browser that will sign them up with you once they click on the uh, say, partner registration, for example. All right, uh, so it includes a replicated website, uh, the ability to see transactions and commissions earned. So for use, those of you who have been around, you can see that. Uh, for those of you who are brand new, you can see a lot of uh, tutorial uh, images and videos of your uh, back office in uh, the uh, YouTube channel, which is Power to Change, P-O-W-E-R, the number two, and then C-H-A-N-G-E, Power to Change is our YouTube video. And uh, so you can see uh, some of the functionality of the back office. There will be more videos up there uh, as we progress out through this week. And then um, your structure of your organization as uh, well as the marketing and sales aids. Uh, so all that's in your back office, most of it under downloads right now. The purchase of this online kit is subject to the standard 72-hour refund rule unless otherwise stipulated. So in general, just like it was for everybody on this call that became a partner, you have 72 hours to decide if you want to uh, continue with FlexCom. Uh, after those 72 hours, then um, in those 72 hours, you get a, a full 100% refund. After those 72 hours, uh, you don't. Uh, the, uh, basically, you can um, plead your case, but we're stating that you have 72 hours. You sign up and you have 72 hours to say, I changed my mind. All right, and then the next uh, paragraph starts out. Also included are 200 QR codes to aid in building your business. This allows you to immediately begin to sign up merchants as well as customers and other DMRs. Flexcom offers Q&A conference calls, the one that we're on right now, on a regular basis. Every partner has access to our country manager, Mr. Bill Resides, state managers, those uh, state managers, will uh, Bill can uh, help you out with that, and regional coordinators, uh, Bill will help you out with that as well, uh, to assist you in growing uh, this great opportunity. So that's your, your product description. It's pretty straightforward now. Now that we're in the part of our uh, growth uh, where the goal is to get as many merchants as possible with as many terminals as possible out there. Uh, so take a look at that. Uh, arm yourself with that. Have that as something that you can easily email out to prospects. And uh, once again, using that 90-day uh, process that uh, Asker talks about and Changas talks about and Volker talks about, you want to meet with somebody every day, meet a new prospect every day, and be armed with the knowledge of what the eBiz kit is now. Now there's a lot more clarity for what it is and what it does as opposed to uh, the K-kits and so forth. There will be more explanations about the, uh, uh, the KTM and the K1 uh, through 20s. Um, in Volker's uh, talk on the webinar tomorrow and on Wednesday. And then as our uh, co-CEO, uh, uh, Gene Mullen, uh, has said, uh, we are getting all this up there in your back office as quickly as possible. And as you probably, if you're looking in your back office from time to time today, you probably saw this product description, description go up there a couple of times and come down. Uh, it's because the uh, PDF didn't work right. Uh, so when we're uh, doing these upgrades and ad additions to your back office, there are often times where we have to load things uh, multiple times. But we've uh, tested out the uh, sites and uh, these different additions that we've done today. Uh, when we're talking about sites, I also want to clarify that the uh, description of the, um, the customer experience has, has changed a little bit. Uh, the website still works the exact same as it did before. When you go to flexcom.com, in the upper right-hand corner, there's a login button. That login is for customers. Soon it will say customer login, or the description to the left will say customer login, but uh, it will define it as the uh, where the customers log in. When you click on customer login, and this is just within the last 24 hours, you'll see that there's more information there now. We've done a tour of this. We actually shot video tutorials of this, but uh, we had to start all over because uh, we've added things uh, as per the uh, state's uh, requirements and uh, different uh, requirements by different teams um, uh, here domestically and in Europe. So now when you look at the uh, customer login, 
uh, you can uh, still there's some German there. We're still working on knocking that out, but you can still see that it says you have to be 18 years of age or older to participate as a customer. That wasn't clarified uh, when you first logged in. Now, as per some of the states here that we're doing compliance, it says it right up front. And in fact, there are two check boxes down towards the bottom that you have to click on, even just to uh, say recover your PIN code number. You can't move to the next screen without. Uh, acknowledging that you understand you have to be at least 18 years of age and uh, acknowledging that uh, this is your e-signature and so forth. You have links to uh, terms and conditions. You have links to uh, financial policy. And then you also have a description that the program is currently only available in the United States. So this FlexCom America program is only available in the United States. Uh, rebates that you do here are for the United States only. And um, more clarification will be given out with that, on that as we go throughout this week here. And then the, uh, the last thing it says, uh, I uh, will be allowed only $1,000 a day transaction value. What that means is the, the maximum um, transaction that you could have as a, uh, as a loyalty uh, monies to you is $1,000 US dollars, uh, that equivalent volume. So that's what that's about. And then uh, the standard card number, email address that the, a, a customer would put in if they already have their, uh, if they've been kissed already, uh, they'll put this in there. And then the uh, PIN code number uh, that they would have been received as an email through the kissing process. So that's how they'd log into their online um, f uh, back office for the uh, for their uh, as a customer. And when they're trying to uh, activate their Flex card for the first time, either in the store or uh, whatever, they got their Flex card and now they want to activate it, it says activate your Flex card to the right of login. When you click on that, there's been some changes there. Uh, it asks for the tax number, and it says I confirm that I've read and accepted terms and conditions, and I accept that I will accept a, to receive an email from uh, to receive email from the merchant who signed me up. So that's so that we can uh, do the uh, email marketing uh, part of this, and down the road the uh, further push notifications. Uh, as per several states, that uh, verbiage is now in there. Also, as per several states, the tax number is required in order for them to activate their flex card. The reason why is with the uh, rewards, uh, they could easily, uh, uh, within a calendar year, uh, receive more than $599 in value. Uh, of, so uh, we have to have their tax ID number. So it's uh, this is as, as per several states to make them happy. Uh, so this is in there. So your customers are now going to have to uh, give their tax ID number. Also, anybody that you kiss that is not at least 18 years old at this time, uh, then their uh, their accounts are not uh, technically active. Uh, so kissing going forward, you only want to kiss 18 years old or older. Uh, and I know we got a lot of stuff here. I'm already almost at uh, halfway through my time today, but we have a lot of stuff to cover and a lot of the uh, questions that we've been getting um, from the last uh, 72 hours. We're covering that right now. So we have uh, done some updates and upgrades to the uh, customer. Uh, link on flexcom.com. Uh, take a look at those. You don't have to go too far into it or worry about uh, creating uh, an account accidentally. You just click on these two links and you'll see them. The login. You click on the login button, then you'll see a login tab and activate your flex card uh, tab. Take a look at those and see the difference. Know that you are only kissing people that are 18 years of age or older. And as we go forward and as we uh, turn um, deeper shades of green, the people that are, have already been kissed, they're going to be queried uh, to make sure that they're 18 years of, old, uh, of age or older, and we'll also have to procure their tax ID number as per several states. They have to do it uh, as uh, these states require. Uh, looking at the uh, other housekeeping items, your terminal should be in your hands. If not now, no later than Wednesday. If you have not received your VIP terminal or your KTM terminal or your K-1 through one K1 through K20 terminal, then please, then please send an email to American Support at flexcom.com. That's American Support at flexcom.com. If you have any questions about anything that I said, any statements, comments, or suggestions, send it to American Support at flexcom.com. We have about 50 people on this call. I'd like to um, uh, Q and A with you uh, um, after I get through the. Uh, through this housekeeping, but unfortunately have another meeting uh, to go into where we're trying to get all these things, uh, things that you're very interested in, fleshed out, active, and working. Uh, Volker's webinar from um, today 
is on our YouTube channel at the Power to Change, P-O-W-E-R, the number two, C-H-A-N-G-E. It's not the best audio. We already know that, uh, but uh, go ahead and take a listen to that. If you weren't able to listen to uh, Volker's webinar in real time uh, today, uh, captured it. It's just a, a screen capture, so it's not as clear quality uh, as uh, we would like, but we already know that, so please you can go ahead and email us about it. We already know about the uh, audio quality. Um, take a listen to that. You will uh, be able to get the announcement, um, the webinar from last week. We have the archive of that up on our Power to Change YouTube channel. We have today's August 4th uh, webinar is up there, and tomorrow's webinar will be up there, and so forth. Once again, um, we have uh, Volker penciled in to do these webinars all the way through the end of uh, through the last week of August. So right now we're looking at the last week of August is when he uh, is scheduled to uh, terminate those uh, webinar cars calls the noon webinar. All right, let's see, got that done. Okay, so the archives are available there. And once again, everything that's on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, every time you click on anything like that and engage with that and leave a good comment and, and thumbs up and so forth, then that will uh, be leveraged by our brand management and SEO companies uh, to raise our profile on the Internet. For instance, when you do a Google search for Flexcom, you're going to find these things that you click on. So go in there. Everybody on this call, we've got about 50 people on this call, everybody on this call should uh, go there. Uh, immediately after this call, uh, click on the uh, audio that's there for uh, today's webinar and pretty much click on everything else that's in there. We should have hundreds of clicks per day, and um, we need more. So the more you click there, the more you click with us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and so forth, uh, the better our search engine results will be. It's in your hands. All right. Um, customers must be at least 18. All right. I already covered that. All right. Okay. And there are new links for... Um, for account verification, which we talked about. So you need to take a look at that in the uh, customer section. A video of that will be uh, available uh, this week once we get a little, a couple more uh, things l locked down, um, like the uh, there's at least uh, two lines of German on that uh, login screen. So once we get that cleaned up, we will do the videos for that page. All right, so once again, um, if you're a KTM, you should have received your terminals. Uh, questions about KTMs, uh, we are sending a, a, uh, a letter to every KTM. Uh, those, K those who are on this call that are KTMs expect a letter. Uh, take a look at that. That specific information just for KTMs, uh, KTMs only, so um, they will get that. We had several people asking um, about, with this new kit, what, what, what happened to the KTMs. Uh, the KTMs are able to uh, place their terminals, as our co-CEO, uh, Gene Mullen, has uh, talked about on Friday. Uh, they basically can place those terminals in uh, merchant accounts now. Uh, we're working on the verbiage for a couple of the contracts in the back office, so you may see those go up and down. Um, you always want to uh, get a current version, so uh, before you go out and walk into a merchant's account, you want to make sure that you got the latest version that day. Uh, do not keep old versions of anything. Old versions of the comp plan will not help you now. They're, uh, they're not relevant to the uh, comp plan as it exists now. And uh, KTM uh, placement contracts, all those contracts that were in the back office, uh, as you can see, those are down. So if you go in your back office and you look under downloads, you're going to see that there's uh, a lot fewer items in there, but those will be populated out with the new items for this new regime. We're at, uh, at phase 3.5, so it's, uh, it's a different uh, phase, and it's an exciting phase. This is the phase where we're looking to get uh, partners, brand new partners coming in. They have the power to go and play, uh, talk to merchants and, and get those merchants to purchase terminals immediately. Uh, we'll talk uh, after Volker's webinar tomorrow. We'll talk about the, um, the comp plan. We'll go over what he went over at, on the 6 p.m. call. All right. Okay, so um, once again, need to clarify a couple of things from Volker's webinar today, which is available in your um, in our uh, YouTube channel, Power to Change. Uh, Volker had stated, and basically uh, he had stated that the the uh, something to the effect that we're going to be shipping uh, POS fives. 
Uh, we're not going to be shipping POS 5s until we have depleted our supply of POS 4Ss. We have hundreds of POS 4Ss here ready for a merchant to sign up, and uh, then we can immediately ship those uh, POS 4S terminals out uh, without uh, delay. Uh, so until we go through this uh, stock of POS 4S terminals, uh, we're not going to order any more terminals from our factory in China. So we won't have any 5S terminals. One of the things that you should remember, and Volker did uh, talk about this, he spoke to this point. When Volker is speaking, he, also, he is in Europe and he speaks to European partners all day long. He's there representing us, but he has people come through the office that are um, uh, European um, um, partners, and the opportunity uh, as presented there is different than the opportunity as presented here. For example, if you go into the customer site for any other country but America, you won't see all these uh, designations, um, that uh, agreements that uh, customers have to make uh, before they can uh, get their rewards. But here in America, as per several states, we are adding this so that uh, the most stringent rules that any state comes up with, we apply to all the states and all the customers and all the merchants and all the uh, partners. So right now, um, we don't have any uh, POS 5Ss in uh, the United States. Um, we are, uh, like I said, we have hundreds of POS 4Ss ready for you to sign up a merchant, and we ship that terminal out. And um, once we deplete this stock, get this stock down to where we have just uh, a few days' worth of uh, terminals, of 4S terminals, then we'll make an order for the 5S terminal. And again, the difference between the 4S terminal and the 5S terminal is minimal. It's a, a, an aesthetic. The base is gold, and part of the uh, backing is gold. Uh, the processor is very slightly faster and has a very little bit more memory. But with, in Germany, when uh, I was there a couple of uh, months ago, you put a 4S right next to a 5S, you do the exact same transactions, and they finish in the exact same time. From a human's point of view, there's no difference. Uh, so the uh, differences are mostly aesthetic. And I know how Americans like to have you know, the, the latest and greatest, even if there is no difference. Uh, right now, we have the 4S terminal. So when you're talking to your merchants, it is the 4S terminal. All right. Let's see. Okay, and so once again, um, we have people saying, so they wrote in over the weekend saying, uh, when is the 5S terminal going to come out? And we basically wrote back saying, uh, that's in the hands of the partners. So you go out there and you place this uh, stock of 4S terminals that we have, then we will make an order for 5S terminals. So if you want the 5S terminals to arrive sooner, go out there and sign up merchants. Also, in the process of signing up merchants, we have a little bit of a of a bottleneck with so many terminals having been shipped out all at once, uh, the process to uh, catalog the uh, serial numbers and put them in the right uh, system has kind of bogged down a little bit. So that is the, uh, the thing that is the, the, uh, the rate determining step. The step that's slowing us down the most is that step right there. Uh, we will be addressing that uh, tomorrow, all day tomorrow. All right. And then um, the uh, clarification uh, when someone asked, I think Michael Pizzi asked, um, uh, Volker on the call, uh, is there a $50 placement fee for a KTM uh, terminal? And the answer is no. Uh, Volker may have said yes, but uh, once again, we clarify these things. Uh, and when you're looking at uh, Volker, he's uh, looking at the, uh, you know, yes, he represents us here in the United States, and he does an admirable job there, but he's also over there where they're talking about Europe and, and um things that go on in Europe and Europe only all the time. Uh, so he, he may have misspoke on that. If you're placing a KTM terminal, there's not a $50 placement uh, um, fee. You don't get $50 for placing a KTM terminal. All right. Archive of last Friday's uh, webinar is on power to change. Got that done. Okay, and tomorrow's webinar and, and subsequent webinars all the way to the uh, uh, the end of uh, Volker doing these webinars will be available approximately four hours after uh, Volker has finished his webinar. So the webinar archives, the uh, the recording of, of Volker's webinar will not be immediately available. It could take up to 14 hours for us to get it up into the Power 2 chain, so it's not an instantaneous thing. Unfortunately, I've got about six minutes here. Let me make sure I got all the main points. Um, if you have any questions at all or suggestions on what questions we should cover, um, send an email to American Support 
at flexcom.com. That's American support at flexcom.com. And uh, we will uh, bring that up as best we can. One of the things that uh, can uh, supersede that, for example, is what happened over the last uh, 72 hours here, where uh, we have to get these uh, announcements and notifications about changes to your website. These are your replicated websites like we talked about uh, and let you know that these things are here and that uh, video tutorials are coming for those. Once we uh, lock down on the language and get all the English in there instead of uh, German, then we'll shoot uh, another video to replace the video that's already in your back office regarding um, well, not in your back office in power to change. Uh, we'll replace that video with this video because the uh, customer experience has changed uh, drastically. All right. And once again, um, must be at least 18, 18 years or older. It, we need to make certain that everyone knows that, kissing forward. So anyone you kiss, you want to make sure that they're at least 18 years of age and um, let them know that, uh, that uh, there's going to be some... Uh, um, confirmation, some more information that they're going to have to give that they were, that they didn't have to give, um, say uh, last month. So somebody signing up now, for example, will need to give their tax ID number in order to complete their account and uh, start receiving their rewards. All right. Um, the clarification also that uh, Volker gave at the end of the conference call need to make certain we um, clarify that. Uh, if you weren't on the uh, webinar today, you uh, may not have been aware, but uh, for a few minutes we had our, our founder uh, and president, uh, Cengiz Ellis, was on the uh, conference call for just a few minutes and made some exciting announcements about uh, meetings and uh, roadshows, things like that. They're basically doing meetings around the world and roadshows around the world. And um, if uh, basically, like Volker said, if we can uh, work these in here in America, we will work these in. Uh, the plan is to work them in. The target is October but we need to make certain that uh, we can uh, do all the things that these uh, international road shows are about here in the United States. Once again, uh, the rules here in the United States are different and more stringent than most of the rest of the planet, and so things that people can do in other countries, they can't do here. Um, and uh, so, for example, going forward, we have the eBiz kit, and uh, we don't have well, the K1 through K20 as something that somebody can sign up for. Those kits are no longer available. All right, um, we got about uh, four minutes, and with about almost uh, 57 people online, this is going to be a crazy thing to do, but I'm going to try and get at least one call in. So hold on for one moment. Yeah. We have time for one call. Go ahead and hit star and then six. Hey, Larry, George Kostic, how are you? Hey, George, how are you doing? I'm doing awesome, Larry. A um, couple of things. First of all, I'm glad you clarified that $50 because I, I didn't hear that before, and I'm like, what is that? So I'm glad you uh, clarified that. Uh, definitely, I never heard that before, and I'm like, really? I've been here <laughs> since the beginning of time and never knew that, so I'm glad you, you, you said that. Uh, also, as far as the uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, I actually did a meeting tonight use some of the, um, you know, obviously, you know, the M commerce and where we are and the evolution of, of uh, you know, where we were and where we are now with mobile commerce. I mean, that hasn't changed. That's, that's uh, reality. Uh, however, with the other things, um, I'm grateful for the information that has been posted already. However, I think, you know, in order for us to move forward and proceed and, 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 and be reading from the same sheet of music, I'm hoping very shortly we'll have in our back office the PowerPoint because, just so you know, I am doing a meeting every Monday night in West Palm Beach. We had, uh, I believe, 10, uh, 10 people here tonight, including new, new people. And, uh, and I'm committed to that every Monday in West Palm Beach. And then also uh, I have my call, which will start starting next um, Monday, which we used to have from 5.30 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That will continue as well, and that will be all in the uh, – uh, um, the newsletter that Mike uh, Livingston does uh, put out. And if you'd like to also, you know, include it in your event section or however you want to handle that, that's fine. But that's a commitment for our area to continue to grow for us to have that meeting for new people. It's from 7 to 8 p.m. And, uh, you know, obviously uh, the address I can give you as well uh, if you want to post that. But that will be something that uh, we'll have every single Monday night. 
Awesome. Uh, definitely send that in to American Support. We'll post it up in the back office. We'll put it on Facebook and so forth. We'll rinse and repeat like we talked about. Sounds good. I appreciate that, Larry. I appreciate all your hard work and what you're doing. And, and obviously also uh, we're just uh, excited about, uh, you know, being green and uh, being able to build with a great price point uh, that we have. And obviously it's a no-brainer at this point. Absolutely. With this price point, this three ninety nine price point for uh, the uh, for the next partner that you bring in, that lowers that barrier to entry. So when somebody was maybe balking, I'd uh, I'd circle back around. People that balked at uh, at three thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or or nine hundred dollars come right back around and say, okay, we have this opportunity at three ninety nine, and and uh, also we're live. <laughs> so yes, and that's to, the exciting you know, thing. Larry, yeah, if I can interject one more thing, if I may. Uh, if you don't mind, and I apologize for talking over you, but I'm on a speaker. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, also, we've got to go ahead and remove the K1 through 20s. I believe they're still in the back office. Oh, yeah, they are, and uh, we've been online with them all weekend, but we had to get other functionality to work right, like the um, proper uh, tax and shipping, things like that. Not sure, and, and that's very understandable. The other thing is I wanted to um, interject is, Obviously, when someone signs up for the 399, they have to place a terminal in order to be fully active. I'm hoping that very shortly, because right now, unless someone's certified, they can't place a terminal. Is that correct? Yeah, technically, yes, you're right. But right. we should have that so, resolved this week. I'm hoping to have it resolved this week. But uh, Gene said we had, uh, from last Friday, we had uh, 10 days. So I think we could hit these marks. Okay, so basically right now, just so so we're clear on this call, uh, because we don't want to obviously, you know, have anyone, you know, misrepresent Flexcom America, is that they can sign up for 399 as a new as a new uh, VMR, but they cannot go and place a terminal to be fully active because they're not certified. So till they can go online and get certified, they basically can only do the 399. Is that correct? That's right. They can sign up other partners at 399, but if they want to engage with uh, with the regional coordinator and a state manager, like if they have a, a hot prospect and they want to do it, they can have um, do a three way call and have those leadership uh, individuals uh, help them assist them at this time. The goal, like like we both know, is to get uh, terminals placed in merchants' hands and have the merchants completely uh, understand exactly what the opportunity is. Um, we can do that using the uh, coordinators that we have and the state managers and so forth, all coordinated, of course, uh, with our... Uh, Wonderful. So then, great. So then you're saying to me, just so I'm clear, because we've got a bunch of people that are, you know, obviously excited about signing up with the 399, but they also want to be able to be fully active. So you're saying, myself as the state manager, I can go ahead and and help that individual under my certification put that terminal out, and it would be just, you know, it, it, it would work that way for now. Is that correct? Absolutely. I mean, there, I can Perfect. think of no better person to talk to a new merchant than you or the other state managers and regional coordinators. You're very kind, Larry. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Now, I am a couple of minutes late, and I apologize for this. Tomorrow I will go through whatever means it takes to give you a full hour. I apologize, but we have uh, meetings about exactly the things that uh, George brought up here, uh, things to uh, fine-tune the web. Well, we're not actually fine-tuned. kind of big tunes need to happen first before we do some fine-tuning. Uh, so I apologize for that. This archive of this um, conference call will be up on our YouTube channel, Power to Change, um, by about this time tomorrow. And uh, we should be all caught up by this time tomorrow with the archives of the conference calls. Once again, the webinar from tomorrow, which is um, at the noon Eastern, making it 9 a.m. Um, Pacific, that will be up by uh, 4 p.m. Pacific or 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, you'll see that in our YouTube channel, Power to Change. And so we'll be all caught up with archives there. And the plan for tomorrow is for uh, Volker to cover the compensation plan, and then for me on the 6 p.m. call the com uh, to uh, uh, cover the compensation plan again. And then uh, on Wednesday, 
the blog talk is gonna uh, gonna be what the blog talk is gonna be because it's a, a Q and A show as well. But Volker should be talking about the compensation plan again on Wednesday, and then we'll follow it up again on, uh, on Wednesday um, on this conference call at 6 p.m. Pacific. All right. So my name is Larry Skinner, and um, I apologize for the short uh, uh, conference call today. Everything that's said on this conference call can be repurposed as flex competencies fit. Uh, we will put this up in your um, in your YouTube uh, channel uh, overnight uh, by this time tomorrow, and we will see you again uh, tomorrow at noon Eastern uh, on the webinar, the Volker webinar, and that makes it 9 a.m. Pacific, and then this conference call at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. I am Larry Skinner, Chief Operations Officer for FlexCom America, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you very much, and good night. Thanks, Larry. Pat from Atlanta. Thank you, Thanks. Atlanta. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>